Yes, I did. Where have you been? In my room. I'm trying to work on one or two flights. Okay, Sid, I want us to talk. Okay, what could be the matter? You look so serious. This discussion is a serious one. I won't take much of your time. Okay, let's hear it. What is going on? I don't understand you, mom. What do you mean? I mean with your love life, what is going on? I don't see you and Sussex together anymore. And you haven't really opened up to me about what happened. Mom, I thought you knew that. I broke up with her. It's been months. What happened between you two? She's a thief. I trusted her so much that she knew everything about me. My passwords, ATM pins, my bank transfer token. She had access to it. Only for me to find out that she has been transferring money from my account to hers. I'm talking millions of Naira. What? How could you not notice that she's been doing that? She does this and deletes all evidence. I don't know but on a certain day, my account officer called me and asked why I have been doing such transfers to my girlfriend. I was shocked. Wow, I thought she's from a wealthy home. What does she need such money for? Do I know? The most painful part was she kept denying everything. If she had admitted that she actually did it, maybe we wouldn't have broke up. That's truly really a disgusting behavior. You don't need someone like that in your life at all. Exactly, mom. So now you're single? I guess I am. I could hook you up with my friend's daughter. She's beautiful, educated and well-mannered. No, no, mom. No hooking up. I can get a partner for myself. And besides, I have someone I like. Her name is Kate. She's everything I want in a woman. She's beautiful, smart, hardworking and well brought up. Who is this Kate? Have I met her before? No, mom. But you'll meet her at the right time. I have to go back to my work now. Don't worry. You will like her. Kate. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh, it could be. I could say I miss you. But that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't want to go back and forth. It could. Oh, thank God. My sister, I couldn't contain my joy. I was really glad that he's doing okay and he's in Canada now. We thank God for his safety. I thought he that he would be fine. He's grown and he can take care of himself. You are right. But you know we mothers always worry. How are you do? As you can see, I'm doing alright. But it's boring for me staying alone. I just can't wait for my daughter to start having kids at least. I will have one or two over there staying with me. And you feel like your daughter would let her children come live with you in this village with no civilization? My dear, I doubt if she would. Judging by the fact that she ate it here. But at least I could go to visit her once in a while when she is married. Every mother's dream is to see their grandkids. Now that my son is abroad, I don't know how my fate is going to be like. You can still marry from Nigeria. Has he never shown any girl to you? Maybe the woman he wants to marry or his girlfriend. No, I can think of my dear. I just don't know. But I definitely do not want him to marry one of those white women who know nothing about our tradition. Then you have to tell him all that when he finally settles there. But since he didn't have any girlfriend or fiancé before he left, I don't know. He might have someone who he hasn't shown to me. My son respects me a lot and would not want to bring just any woman to me. You are right. I hope things work out for him first, so at least he can take you over there for vacations. Vasagini, I'm not interested in traveling out of this village. He should get married and send his wife to meet him there. Not me, yo. I'm already too old for all those traveling here and there. Instead, he should send me the money for me to start up a better business here. So if your son tells you to come over there, you won't? I won't to my sister. I like it here. This woman. <laughs> Yes, so to go and do what there? It's just for visiting <laughs> you, Seth. Rachel. Good evening, mom. Welcome. Thank you, my dear. Ah, uh ah. -uh. This place is looking nice, and I can perceive a nice smell. Did you cook? Yes, mom. I cooked jollof rice. Hey, hey, you, Rachel, cook. Mom, I don't understand. Don't I cook in this house? When was the last time you cooked? Eh? That doesn't mean you'll be surprised that I cooked. What did you buy for me? When I was living in this house, did you send me something to get for you that I didn't? Don't you know you're supposed to get me something while you're coming back? As a kid, Abby, my friend, go and get me a glass of cold water. Don't wanna go back and forth when I know I deserve much more. How was your day? My dear, my day went well. Went to my shop to supervise them today. 
They are doing very well with sales. Oh, well, that's great. Um, Mom, did you talk to Richard about what I told you about? What did you tell me about, Madam? Don't tell me you forgot. About that girl now, the one that's an orphan. So what was I supposed to talk to him about? I told you to talk to him out of the whole idea of dating her. She's not his class at all. And why haven't you brought your own man so we can see what class he is? You should know by now that I'm focusing on my studies and besides, if I'm to date, I won't date a garbage. Then let's wait until we see yours before you decide for your brother. I'm not deciding for him at all. What I'm saying is that girl is not his class. I have never decided for Richard before. I didn't with success, mom. Then where is the success today? That's if. Mom, that's not the point right now. Enough, don't feed my ears with this rubbish you are saying. Go inside and sleep if you don't have anything to say. Mom, mom, I don't like this so. Shut up and go inside this minute. What's the matter with you? Is Richard your mate? Look at this girl. Ah ah, what is it? Won't you people let someone have rest of mine in this house? Richard this, Richard that. You're welcome to my brother's house. Madam, who is this your brother? Chineke, see house now. <laughs> my brother is hell rich. This isn't all he got. Wow, I beg, is he single? Only comes up now. No go that side, I beg. What are you saying? My brother got class, and I bet he won't even look at you. See insult though. You think I'm not fine enough or what? My brother is not one of those campus guys now. No vex, look elsewhere. I hear you. This is why you haven't resumed yet. You give yourself extra two weeks break. <laughs> I'm enjoying it here. Besides, my department isn't like yours. Then you should have given me a kid to that beautiful house of yours. So at least I can enjoy it while you are away. So that you carry that your tiara of your friend into my expensive room and mess it up. No, thank you. Visit me when I'm around. Why don't you like tiara? She's such a darling. Darling my foot. You think I don't know she raises her shoulders in campus because Bayo is in love with her. Do I smell jealous? Jealous? Of who? That wretch. You and I know you like Bayo. And I don't know why you just have this thing for Tiara. That's not even the case. The thing is, she raises her shoulders too much. Yes, she's pretty, but she's doing too much. No one would imagine she came from a poor background. And what's bad if you have standards? Does poor background stops you from having standards? A peggy. Poor people on that so they do. So you are indirectly referring to me too? No, I'm referring to your friend. Ew, she does too much. Walks around the campus like her father owns it. He wouldn't even imagine that she's from the slums. <laughs> Rich man picking a wah. Relax. Besides, this whole world isn't even yours. You are just fortunate to be born into it. Oh, please. It's not as if a lot of people are fortunate. Peg, what can I offer you? You know that I'm spending the right night. Yes, ma. I know. But we have to go into my room now. Don't want anyone to notice that you're here. How about why? No visitors are allowed. I already have the freedom in school. This isn't my house or my father's house. It's my brother's house, so I don't want to be scolded. Then let's go now. I don't want anyone to make me feel like I don't belong here. Let's go and drop your bags in. Then we we'll rush out to get all the goodies. Tonight is just night. Gist? Yeah, I came to sleep. You better go back to your house. Peg, come, let's go inside. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't wanna go back. Good evening, Nawaoga. Peace, peace. Is it you I'm seeing here? Flesh and blood. I was just around your area and I decided to visit. I knew you wouldn't be at work today since it's Saturday. You guessed, right? How can my day get any better? Thanks for coming. You are welcome. This your house, eh? It will make any girl say yes to you in an instant. Then, will you marry me? I'm not the right person you should be asking that. Why not ask your art trope? You have come again with relationship talks. How are you? I am doing okay and I can already see that you are just fine. All thanks to God. My day was already getting boring before you came. Call me your lucky star then. Of course. Welcome to my home. Thank you. Eh, um, bro. Good evening. Good evening. Who's she? Good evening, sir. Who are you? Bro, she's my friend. I didn't know you would be at home by now. Wait a minute. 
Did your friend sleep in this house? No, she didn't. Then, when did she come in? In the morning. She didn't sleep here. How dare you lie to me? She came this morning and she's living with a box. What did I tell you about sleepovers? I told you not in my house, not here. It's not a big deal. And besides, I didn't bring a man here. And what's that supposed to mean? It's okay, Richard. Just let her be, please. And you don't have the right to talk in family matters. Stay out of it. Rachel. Excuse me. You're excused. I beg, let's go. I'm sorry, Ma. Wow, she got an attitude. I'll teach her a lesson. What sort of bad attitude is that? Or she thinks this is my father's house? Younger siblings are like that. Just ignore her. I will sure teach her a lesson. Let's go out for a drink. This house is really too hot. I don't mind. Let's try the wine store at the junction. I have somewhere even better. Okay, I can't wait. Let me quickly change my clothes. I'll be back. Don't dress to kill. It's not a date. This girl. <laughs> I've heard you, madam. Got both of my feet on, so